last week I jumped on a plane and went to the home of Campari, Milan. After sitting with a mask on my face for like 10 hours straight, I checked in at the cool hotel that has a panoramic rooftop. It's located in Duomo, which is the most fabulous area in Milan. There is a super beautiful cathedral that took nearly 6 centuries to complete. That building is fascinating. Right next to it is famous oldest shopping gallery. Inside of it many bars and restaurants with outdoor seating areas. And right across there is iconic bar Camparino. It was opened in 1867 by Gaspari Campari. It was known as Cafe Milani for a long time but in 2012 returned to its original name. The bar is famous for creating an iconic aperitivo, Campari spritz and also Milani Torino cocktail. On the first level, quick on-the-go service, order directly at the counter. Downstairs, the Gaspari Campari room is for tasting and private events. I couldn't go there. Like in Buena Vista Cafe in San Francisco, bartenders wear sharp white classic jackets. I really like that. Shiny classic bar tools and glassware added a lovely charm to that bar. It has that feel that quality cocktails are being made here. I had one Negroni and they told me I should visit a bar upstairs for the best experience. It opens at 5 p.m. so I thought since you guys are going to reward me with a like, I have to come back and see what the hype is about. It was so hot, I got pretty buzzed from one drink. I decided to check out the beautiful streets of Milan and while walking, I realized that it's a lot easier to find an Aperol Spritz than a bottle of water. I came back at 5 p.m. On the way to second floor, it looked like I'm going to Campari Museum. There were original Campari bottles and also limited edition ones that were made for some big special occasions. Classic bar tools and lots of soda siphons showcasing that the Campari Spritz was created there. Two very, very skilled bartenders serving Campari aperitifs, dinner and after dinner drinks. As soon as I sat, they brought their special Campari Spritz. And then that's water. Okay. The particular wow. thing in this cocktail is the foam. We spray the cells with a high pressure, uh -huh. and so it creates this foam that uh, remains in the, in, the, in the glass for all the drink, for all the, during all the drink. I noticed that every place in Italy has a digital touchless menu. I believe it was created for safety reasons, but pretty sure it's here to stay. Well, do you prefer to look at the regular paper menu without being distracted by your phone notifications or okay to see it on your phone screen? I just think it's so convenient. It's a fantastic experience to try best versions of Campari cocktails in the beautiful ambience and watch super pro bartenders who pay so much attention to all little details. They recognize that I'm the guy who makes cocktails on YouTube and served me a few extra drinks. Also the traditional dish called pan cot. I was so excited so I had them all and then realized that while I still can walk and find my hotel, I better bounce since on the next day I need to go to Venice and visit one of the most popular bars in the world where Bellini cocktail was created, the Harris Bar. Hit the like button, please subscribe if you want to follow my journey and see the exclusive look inside one of the best bars in the world. And I'll see you in the next video.